Hello my gorgeous Geminis, this is Debs and this is your reading for July 2022. Gemini, coming out of meditation, I was brought to um, three different countries. I was brought to China, I was then taken to Egypt, and I was then taken to Italy. And I heard the words time warp. Now, it may be that I'm connecting with someone who has a very strong affinity to a particular country. It could be that you're British, right? And you have a very strong connection to Egypt. You love everything Egyptian from the food to the ambience, to the decoration, to the way of life. You adore it. You feel at home there. I feel as if I'm connecting with someone who knows that... They had a past life in a particular country of the world, or predominantly they were living in a particular area of the world. You're going to be meeting someone, Gemini, or you may have already met someone who also feels a strong affinity to that particular country. So you may not be Egyptian, for instance. You may be British, they could be Italian, and both of you are drawn to all things Egyptian. It could be something like that. This is someone that, Gemini, you have met in a past life. It could have been that you two had a past life together in, for instance, Egypt. And when you come together and talk about your thoughts and feelings, holidays you spend in this, in this particular place, wherever it is, it is for you, you're both going to sense that there is some energy that the two of you are playing with based around a past life. It could be that you feel this person is familiar somehow, you've met them somehow, but you know that you've only just connected. It's going to feel like you've just come home. I'm not necessarily feeling twin flame energy, I'm feeling a very deep past life soulmate energy. And I think, Gemini, that is what we're dealing with for you. So whether or not you've met this person already and you're immediately thinking, oh my goodness, this is me, or whether or not you're destined to meet someone and maybe start a life with someone who you knew in a past life, I don't know. It depends on your own situation. But I think that's what the reading is going to be all about, okay? Let's delve in. Let's delve in. Very interesting meditation. And we will see where this leads us. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Geminis. This is July 2022. This is for my Geminis. Thank you, Michael. His energy is with me. I'm hearing Archangel Uriel, Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Gabriel. Thank you, Michael. And keep hearing warped timelines, warped timelines. Yes, twisted, twisted timelines. <sighs> okay. I'm also hearing, hearing astral travel. You could feel as if you have had an out-of-body experience. Or you could feel as if you are very highly sensitive you could be an empath highly sensitive to energy you could know for sure that you've definitely lived in this world before okay hmm. okay goodness me i'm hearing atlantis atlantis okay this could be a very deep reading. Let's just see where this goes. Ace of Cups in reverse. You haven't met anyone, Gemini. I don't know why I want to keep calling you Aquarius. You haven't met anyone, Gemini, that you felt close to before. That close to. You may have met someone in the deep past. And after that time, you may have moved on from that person. Maybe things weren't quite lining up. And you may have looked for someone who was similar to them, but maybe a little bit more on your wavelength in terms of the practicality. So maybe you met someone you felt connected to, but they were 10 years older than you, 10 years younger than you, 
lived in a completely different country, wasn't practical. Something here forced you to move away from that person and you've been searching for someone similar that you felt that similar connection to ever since. I don't think you found anyone that you felt that bond with. Yes. King of Cups in the reverse. Gemini, it may well be that you opened up to someone who might have been a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio, but they may have been sitting in very up and down energy, a bit kind of all over the place, a bit chaotic. Maybe this person wasn't really grounded. They weren't in charge of their life. They could have held a little bit of manipulative energy. And I think you quickly... I'm seeing someone walk past someone on the street. One person is saying hi and is just about to have a conversation and, you know, talk to them. But the other person gets nervous and walks straight past, just giving them a bit of a glance as if to say, please don't stop and talk to me. I I'm not feeling like it today. I, I don't want to connect with you at the moment. That was a very strange vision. Okay. In the past, Four of Pentacles in the reverse. You opened up to someone in the past. You opened up to someone in the past, but with the Seven of Swords, this was a very emotional situation for you to deal with, and I think you quickly left. Gemini, I've got to be honest, it could be that you were in a relationship with somebody else. You met someone you felt a strong affinity to. You opened up to them. You two got into some kind of affair. But you may have ended it, Gemini, quite quickly. Because you knew there was something manipulative about this. Could have been you, could have been the other person. But you never found that energy with anyone else, that particular very deep connection. You have been thinking about this person and what happened in the past. What you're considering doing, Gemini, with a page of swords is to send this person, I'm hearing a very bland message. So they can't read anything specific into it. It's simply, hello, how are you? What are you up to type of energy? We haven't spoken for a while. You're going to ensure it is an unemotional message. So if this person does not respond, you don't feel like an idiot. <laughs> um, you're not going to feel too embarrassed. But you're curious as to what they may say. There's going to be a series of very deep conversations with this person, which is going to allow you to put a massive burden down. I'm hearing, yes, I felt the same way. Yes, it was completely mutual. No, I didn't imagine it. Okay. What you're fearing is that because you are going to be getting back in touch with this person it's going to cause issues in your current life i'm hearing in your current partnership so you may you may still be connected to someone so you could be in a karmic relationship you're unhappy in you could have opened up to someone in the past knowing that this was potentially not the right thing to do I think you just escaped the situation. You might have ended it very quickly. I think you are now wanting to revisit that connection because you want to know, was it real? Was it real? Was it me imagining it? Was it just fantasy? I think you also want to know, Gemini, how you're going to feel when you actually see this person face to face. And I don't mean on Skype. I don't mean, you know... Um, something like that. I mean, actually sitting across a table from them. 
How am I going to feel when I'm actually in their presence? I'm hearing, is it all going to come back again? Am I going to feel the same way again? Or did I imagine it? There's a curiosity here, Gemini. Now, this could be teetering on a little bit of temptation, so be careful. But I feel what you're going to learn is you did not imagine this. This person felt the same way. And even though it may be slightly awkward to get back in touch, because there could have been awkward energies in the past, it could have been some deception in the past, it might have been on your side, it may have been on their side. It's almost as if you can't help yourself. You might have been thinking about this now and again for quite a long time. You know, one day I'm going to be sitting opposite them again. I wonder whether it was maybe just chemistry. I wonder whether or not we did indeed have a past life. In their energy is judgment. This is someone who may say to you very simply, Gemini, yes, I feel that somehow judgment is hearing the call of the divine. Somehow we were pulled together for a reason. So this is very interesting. And with them coming out with something like that, you know, yes, I felt that we were meant to meet. Yes, it wasn't supposed to happen in the past, but I did feel a strong past life connection with you. With them coming out with that, admitting it to you, you're going to drop a very big burden because I feel, Gemini, you've been teetering on the edge of disconnecting from the person that you're with, but you've been trying to figure out whether or not the connection with this past person, you may have had an affair, was simply chemistry, very strong sexual chemistry, or whether or not it actually goes a lot deeper. And I think you're going to come to realise that it does go a lot deeper. All of the feelings are going to come back again. And you're going to realise this person never forgot you either. And they may have been curious about your life. What happened after we disconnected? This may have been a few years ago. And with the energy of judgment... It may be surprising for you to find out that this person had to think very, very carefully as to whether or not they wanted to be back in touch with you again. It wasn't as simple as, oh, hi, yeah, oh, it was years ago. Yeah, sure, we can meet for coffee. Yeah, sure, we can meet for a glass of wine, whatever this is. No, they may have sat on your message for quite a few hours and really deliberated about this because they knew this was an extremely powerful connection that I don't think they have ever experienced before either. And they may tell you that. They may tell you that. What you're hoping, <laughs> Gemini, is that this person has not healed from the connection with you, hoping they haven't actually moved on, hoping they're not with somebody else hoping they still think about you too. Knight of Swords. Straightforward, honest communication between the two of you, I think, relating to where you take this when you reconnect. Well, now we've reconnected. Now we've ascertained that we did have a past life. We do think about each other. It's not just chemistry. This is a powerful connection. What do we do about it? Do we want to do something about it? Could this lead to a brand new relationship? Clarification. Page of Cups in the reverse. There was no communication after this Seven of Swords energy. Someone may have put their foot down. Somebody may have said, look, I didn't realise you were involved with somebody else. I can't do this and walked away. There was a very strong disconnect. And I think both of you struggled afterwards in not being in each other's energy, not being with each other. And with the Page of Cups in reverse, there was no communication after this point of time. 
it was as if it was just silence. But I don't think you two ever forgot each other. King of Wands in the reverse. Gemini, your person may have felt highly embarrassed if it was them that pulled you into some kind of affair. You may have felt upset that they never apologised to you for maybe just deserting you. It could be, Gemini, that if you're a masculine energy and you're sat in the King of Wands in reverse, you may have fire in your chart. You know you didn't do the right thing. You maybe felt you should have properly apologised, but you didn't. And this would have been something that played on your mind. With the Ten of Cups in the reverse, either you or they, Gemini, are not happy in the long-term relationship they're in. There's no love, there's no connection, there's no togetherness. And I feel that someone here is thinking of ending a long-term partnership with this past person in mind. I wonder if they're still single. I wonder if they would be open to meeting me again. Queen of Cups in the reverse. Somebody could be with a water sign partner who is not giving love in the relationship. Somebody could be in a situation that they're missing a Queen of Cups. All their happiness went out the window. So Gemini, if you're a masculine energy, you may have met a Queen of Cups, who of course would be your counterpart. You two may have fallen in love. There may have been a strong past life connection but you couldn't act on it because you were in a relationship with somebody else. And I think when this person pulled away from you, all of your happiness just disintegrated. And it might have been very, very painful for a period of time to not be around this person. Underneath the deck, the magician in the reverse this is you feeling, I don't know if I can actually manifest this connection back again. You don't know if you should. With the energy of the Empress for my masculine energies, you could have met your Empress. If not, Gemini, you're a masculine energy and you know that you have an Empress sitting at home. You may not be in love with that partner anymore. And with a magician in the reverse, there's a strong temptation to manifest back in this past person. But of course, it would be relatively manipulative. I say relatively because you may be thinking of leaving your karmic partner, but at the time that you want to reconnect with this past person, you are still with them. Four of Cups. You're very unhappy without this past person and you've moved into a kind of numb state of mind. Well, this is what my life's going to be like going forward, so I just have to deal with it. But Gemini, there's a very strong temptation in reconnecting with this person from the past because I think you want to find out whether or not it was just of the moment, it was just chemistry or whether or not they felt this familiarity with you too. So let's see, guys. Let's see. I'm moving the cards just a fraction. I want you to see all of them. There we go. Okay, people. All right, Gem. So what you're looking at, Gemini, is the Ace of Cups in reverse. Now, what I feel is that you may be on the brink of ending things with your person. I don't think you're happy. I don't think you've been happy for a long time. And you've been considering new love. I think you've been pushing away the thought of going back to this past person that you felt this very deep past life connection with because you felt that there was too much said and done, maybe some deception, maybe some lies, and it's as if you just really didn't want to go there. But you haven't found anyone else that you feel this connection with 
No one has come close. You may have started dating. You may even be separated from your partner at the moment. So you're thinking of new love. But there's a sense of, I don't know if I should reach back out. I don't know if I should do it. Because with the King of Cups in the reverse, if this is your energy, because this is your current energy here, it could well be that there was some manipulation. Yes, you may have expressed to this person that you met in the past that you actually love them. But there was manipulation because you weren't free to move into a proper relationship with them because you were in a relationship with somebody else. And you may have hurt this person in the past. And now you're thinking, I don't want the door slammed in my face. I don't know whether or not they even want to talk to me. But there's a sense of I can't help myself because now I'm looking at me becoming single in the future. That's what you're thinking about. I'm not going to be in this long term relationship much longer. And I want to know whether or not I should really put this person that I met in the past, totally, never contact them again, really move on, or whether or not I should revisit that connection. So in the past, with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, you were still holding on to your karmic relationship, but you opened up to someone you felt an initial attraction to. I think at the time it was just an initial attraction. That was it. You didn't think much of it. You thought, well, there's chemistry. I'm really unhappy in my relationship. Let's kind of see where things go. But I think the other person got upset because you did move into the Seven of Swords. You may not have really wanted to tell them you were in a relationship with someone else, even though you weren't happy. And I think the whole thing blew up. And I think you two parted ways. What you're thinking about now is Page of Swords. I think I'm just going to reach out a little message. It's going to be, hello, we haven't spoken for a long time. I just wondered how you were. Literally that. Nothing about your situation, not asking any questions about their situation, not revealing any emotion whatsoever. You are literally just nudging open that door. You're just opening that door giving this person a chance to communicate back with you if they want to. That's your game plan. Let's just see how they're going to react to a very simple message. Now, Archangel Michael, when do we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse coming through for my Geminis? Thank you. September, okay. I'm hearing the 4th of September. He's pointing forward to the 23rd of October, okay. I don't know why, but the 23rd of October rings a bell. Somebody may have met this person in October. I don't know why I'm hearing the 23rd of October is very significant for someone. OK, we have this conversation. So I think Gemini, if you've been hoping that this person would be conducive to having a, a chat with you, I think the reaction is yes. I think they're also feeling exactly the same as you. I think they're unattached. And I feel that what they want to know is, when I see my Gemini again, am I going to feel again, maybe this past life energy, this familiarity when I look in their eyes, am I going to feel it again? Or is it just chemistry? And I think the conversation will be thus, it will be, them saying to you, yes, look at this. This is the, the divine blowing the trumpet. The divine's call. Yes, I felt that there was something here between us. I felt a very deep connection to you. I felt past life energy. But I had to make a really serious decision, make a serious judgment call as to whether or not I actually wanted to see you again. Because the connection was that intense. It was that strong. Did I want to put myself through that again? Because I don't think you guys ended it very well in the past. It was painful for both of you. With them coming out with that, because Gemini, you've been sitting feeling very burdened about the past, you're going to immediately feel that you can put that burden down. It's almost a massive relief. Thank God. They felt it too. Thank God it wasn't just chemistry. 
I feel that there's something here that we should really look at. We both feel the same way. It was not just me. They feel it too. So this is going to be a really significant conversation or series of conversations. From September through until around about the end of October. What you're fearing, Gemini, in the back of your mind is the five of wands. Three things. You could be fearing if I move forward with this person... I'm going to have to face ending my karmic relationship because I feel it's on the rocks anyway and I feel I want to do it. I know it's going to be chaos. I know it's going to be drama. People aren't going to like it and I'm going to have to face the music. You're fearful of that. Second of all, before you even meet this person that you met in the past, you may be nervous that because there was the Seven of Swords energy, a little bit of sneakiness, are they going to have a go at me? Are they going to shout at me? Are they going to say you broke my heart? You don't want any arguments to flare up. You simply want to be back in this person's company again. Thirdly, you may be nervous, fearful of being in your head conflicted if this person reveals that yes, they still have feelings for you and they still feel that you two somehow have known each other in a past life. It's a very special connection. It's a deep connection. Because you will then have to make a serious decision pertaining to your karmic partner. And maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you feel the relationship is on the rocks or it's over emotionally. But it's one thing knowing it's over and it's another thing to actually sever the tie. Because you're talking about practicality. Someone moving out of living with someone, somebody moving into the divorce process. It's not fun. It's not fun. What you're hoping is that this person who does feel that this is a past life connection for them too, has not healed from you. You don't want to meet this person for them to say to you, oh yeah, I've moved on, I'm now dating so and so, yeah, we had fun, yeah, you know, it was a laugh, you know, I found you very attractive, but yeah, it wasn't going to go anywhere. You're hoping, hoping, I'm hearing fingers crossed, that this person has not healed from this very deep connection you two shared. And you're hoping they haven't healed because I think in the back of your mind, Gemini, you want to move forward with this person. That would be the ideal scenario. Even though you're worried about it, even though you're stressed at the changes you would have to make to make this new connection happen in the 3D, for you two to have a proper relationship, there would be a lot that you'd have to face. But I still think that you're hoping they haven't forgotten you. The final card is the Knight of Swords. There's going to be a lot of communication, a series of conversations maybe, about what you both want to do about this. I mean, this is brass tacks. This is, well, now we've reconnected. Now we know this is completely mutual. Now we know we never forgot about each other. The chemistry is still there. Let's make this happen. How are we going to make this happen? Because the Knight of Swords takes action. This is practical action. Arranging to see each other more. Maybe Gemini, you or the other person having a talk to the karmic partner. I feel you are the one that is potentially needing to make a change about your partnership, but it could be switched. This is, are we really going to do this? But it's very exciting. Because this is open, honest communication. There's nothing hidden. Any deception was in the past. And I feel going forward, Gemini, if you two decide to make this work, what you're realising is we cannot have it the way it was before. You know, Gemini, if you were not being honest, you want to be totally honest now with this person. If this person had been nervous and hiding anything, they want to come out with whatever they've been hiding. It has to be that way to make it work this time. Because this time we have to build a solid foundation. Otherwise, this is never going to work. Okay. Clarification. Page of Cups in the reverse. I don't think since you left this person or they left you, there was any communication. Page of Cups in Reverse, I think that you might have been embarrassed that if this was you, Jem, who was hiding a karmic relationship, 
You may have been embarrassed that you didn't fully apologise or properly apologise to this person. I don't think there's been any communication between the two of you for a while. King of Wands in the reverse. It may be that this started as an affair that very quickly ended when both of you realised how powerful this connection actually really was. Maybe you realised you were starting to fall in love and oh my goodness, I really just wanted a fling and both of you disconnected sharply. With the energy of the Ten of Cups in the reverse, ever since this person disconnected from you, Gemini, you've been incredibly unhappy and you know you're not happy in your partnership at the moment. You don't know whether or not it's possible for you two to get this relationship back on track. Because I think with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, you two very much are meant to be together. Maybe this was 10 years ago and you know they still love you, you love them. And that's all going to be brought to light in this series of conversations that you guys are going to have. What you're dealing with now, Gemini, is with the magician in the reverse, there was manipulation in the past. You don't know if you can manifest this connection back again. You're nervous because with the energy of the empress, either you're dealing with an empress, she knows her worth and she will not be manipulated, or this is your karmic partner. Gemini. Yes. And with that said, you may feel that whoever you met in the past could be a Sagittarius with a judgment card. Could be a Queen of Cups. It was that way, wasn't it? Thank you, Michael. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Whoever this was, you're afraid that they don't trust you anymore. With a Four of Cups, this is divine love. You are both going to realise that you both feel the same way. And you're going to be considering whether you're going to move this forward together and how you're actually going to do it. Gemini, let's get into this reading and see what comes through. Here we go. Archangel Michael, what is the Ace of Cups in the reverse crossed with the King of Cups in the reverse? The world in the reverse. So you know this is not totally over for you, but you haven't quite yet closed out your previous cycle with somebody else. Okay. Seven of Cups in the reverse. So you have been tentatively looking at other options, knowing you're going to end your karmic partnership, but no one came close to this past person. You've been thinking about them. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. You know that there is an opportunity to potentially grow this connection. But at the moment, that hasn't really been put into action. You're just considering it. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So it may well be that this is your karmic partner, Gemini, who you are feeling it's just not working out with. You're considering letting that person go. Could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Michael, what happened in the past? Four of Pentacles in the reverse. You opened up to this person from the past. Wow. Yeah, Hangman, Pisces maybe. This was a very sharp wake-up call. Oh my gosh, this is my person. And look at that. You're looking at the past. I feel as if I've known this person before. I feel as if they're really familiar to me. Very strange energy. Yeah. But with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, Gemini, you could have break from this person because you may have been considering divorcing your partner, but you hadn't decided to do that. So this was very difficult for you. Wow. Temperance in the reverse. It left you emotionally all over the place. It left you very stressed out. What do I do about this? I thought this would be just a casual fling situation. Oh my goodness. 
this is my person. Strong past life, Sagittarian energy. Michael, what happened with the Seven of Swords? Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So you really missed this person and you decided to build a connection with them. But at the time, I don't think you relayed the fact that you were with a karmic partner. But you felt alone, you felt disconnected, and you've met this person, you felt this strong past life pull too. And so you just went with it. You went with it. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Because at the time, you were thinking of all the time and the finances you'd invested in your part karmic partnership. You couldn't bear to let that go at the time, despite the strong connection with this other person. What happened? The death card, Scorpio, it just ended. They walked away from you, you admitted the truth, whatever this was, and it ended. But it was very painful. So you're back here wondering about this person again, because you're just about to end your karmic partnership. You've been looking for love, maybe. What is the Page of Swords? Page of Wands in reverse. So you're going to refrain from sending this person any messages relating to attraction, passion, chemistry. No, no, no. It's going to be a very straight message. Again, how are you? We haven't spoken for a long time. Maybe do you want to meet up? It's going to be that. That simple. That simple. Yeah, because you are thinking almost incessantly now about returning to this person from the past. You're reliving the conversations you had, the energy you felt with this person, and you simply want to go back there. You want to go back there. With the Wheel of Fortune, you feel that you two were kind of pushed together for a reason. You feel that this is your person. It was destiny that you met, and you want to find out more about this connection. So, Michael, what is the Ten of Wands in the reverse for my Geminis? You're putting down a burden because you're realising this person feels the same way. Yeah, so what you're going to say to this person is, Gemini, I'm now coming up to major crossroads in my life. I have to make a major decision. I'm feeling that the best decision to make is to let my karmic partner go. And I really wanted to reconnect with you. So that is what you're going to say to this person. What else is Gemini going to say? Six of Swords. You may say, I'm sorry, that it just turned into an affair. The connection was much deeper than either of us realised. It could be that you say to this person, I want to move to calmer waters. I want to disconnect from someone that I don't feel connection to anymore. The Hermit in reverse. You may talk about leaving a Virgo. You may talk about the fact that you felt on your own, you felt disconnected, you've missed this person, and that's why you wanted to see them again. Wow, the tower. So you may say to this person, it was a shock when I met you. I felt a very deep connection. I can't explain it. And I wanted to know whether or not you felt that too. The Five of Swords in the reverse. Gem, you may say, I'm sorry if I was a bit selfish in the past. I, I wanted to be with you, but I shouldn't have pursued you. I don't want to be selfish again. So I'm not going to push you if you're not sure about reconnecting with me. The Emperor. So Gemini, you may say to this person, I want to do the right thing. I want to act with integrity. I want to act in a respectful way. And I am taking charge of my life. Aries energy. 
What is this person saying? Justice in the reverse. They may say, Jem, you left me in a very unbalanced, unjust situation. I didn't know how to handle it. They could be a Libra. It could be that this person says, are you definitely ending the contract with your karmic partner? With the Nine of Swords in the reverse, they are going to admit that they spent a long time trying to get over this connection. They may have had vivid dreams of you two together. They may have felt you connected during astral travel in dream state. They may say, eventually I pulled myself out of this heartbreak and I got myself together, but it wasn't easy. Six of Wands, they may admit, I wore a false mask for a period of time. I had to just push on, get myself together, sort my life out. They may say, as a result, I channeled all of that emotion into my career and it's become successful. You know, I've achieved what I wanted to achieve. Things are good. Two of Swords in the reverse. They may say to you, I tried to block my emotions for quite a long time, but I felt it was right that we reconnected. I felt it was right that I made the decision to see you again. Three of Wands. They may admit, Gemini, that they thought about you from a distance if you two lived apart. They wondered about you all this time that you weren't together. Yeah, and with the moon in reverse, they may say, and I was curious too, Gemini, I felt there was a lot about you, your situation, that I had no idea about. And I wanted to lift the veil. I wanted to find out more about you, about your situation, about how you are. But it took a lot from me to say yes to meeting you because the moon in the upright is fear. This is somebody who was sat in fear of seeing you again, maybe because the connection was simply too intense. And because, of course, at the time, Gemini, you were not single. So, Michael, what is the Knight of Swords? The Fool in reverse. So, Gemini, you're going to say to this person either that you're letting go of an Aries. Yeah, I am going to do it. Or it could be, Gem, that you say to this person, I don't want to do anything too risky. Let's be serious about this. Let's take our time. We need to plan this carefully. You may be talking about this person being patient whilst you disconnect from a karmic partner. Yeah, but this is a beautiful energy gem. Some of you, you are disconnecting from a Capricorn and you want this person to wait for you. Or what you're saying to this person is, I don't want to move into some sordid affair with you. This connection is worth so much more than that. I don't want to cheapen the connection by just having an affair. Let me get out of my really toxic situation. I'm going to do it, but I have to do it carefully and sensitively. Wow, Hierophant in reverse. Yes, so Gemini, you could be telling this person that you're going to actually divorce your partner. And you may ask this person just to keep in touch with you, maybe as friends, whilst you complete that process. Two of Pentacles. You may say to them it's going to be difficult financially, as long as you know that. You know, I'm not going to leave my marriage with any money or very much money. It could be if you two are at a distance, Gemini, you discuss you moving to be where they are. You may ask them if they want to move to be where you are once this divorce finalises. My goodness, people. What else is going to be discussed? <laughs> the sun. 
Leo energy. I think simply what's going to be discussed, Gemini, is how happy you actually both are to be back together again. With all this serious conversation, you're just in bliss being back in each other's lives. And I think it's going to become apparent that you don't want to disconnect again. Yeah. Yeah. The High Priestess in reverse. You're going to maybe discuss a very strong psychic or spiritual connection between the two of you. It could be that you say to this person, Gemini, you know, I don't just want to fantasize about being with you anymore. I want it to be reality. I want us to keep this conversation going. I don't want to lose touch with you again. Okay. Hmm. Yes. And it's all about you ending your karmic partnership. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. The reality is you are ready at this point to end your other relationship to be with this person. What is Gemini going to say? Eight of Cups. This is you, Gemini, maybe going back to your karmic partner. You may say to this person, please, let's keep in touch. You know, I'm going to come and see you as much as I can, but I am going to leave my partner. I am going to do it. Okay. Goodness me. Yeah. So what you're saying to this person is, I was in my head, I didn't know what to do, I didn't know your reaction once I got back in touch, I'm making a decision, now I've met you again, that this is real and I'm going to be doing everything I can to get myself out of this other situation. Ten of Pentacles, the cards are just coming out easily guys, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, is you expecting to lose a lot of money? You could say to this person, you know, I will get divorced. It's going to take six months or a year to get this done. Um, I want to build with you is what I'm hearing. I want you in my life. Gemini. Guys, and we end with the two of cups. This is your person. You both knew, you may have known almost the first moment or within the first few hours of you actually meeting for the first time that you knew this was a very special connection. I don't think either of you voiced it. And I think when this disintegrated, it was very painful for you both. But I think you're both going to work on bringing this back together again. It's going to take time. But I think the whole point is you're ready to disconnect from your karmic partner. And I think they are happy to wait for you to do that. People. Hidden Truth Oracle. Archangel Michael, what would Gemini want to say to their person, please? What would Gemini want to say to their person? Yeah, there we have it. That's the really powerful connection. I feel you even though we're apart. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think that feeling ever went away. Yeah. You were the best thing in my life. Wow. Gemini, what a reading. I'm going to leave it there. I hope that's helped. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Take care of you. And I will be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye, Gem.